Hey guys, happy Friday. I wanted to give you a feel good story to end the week and start the weekend. We talk a lot about the state of the world and how awful things really are, but it occurred to me that it is really not that hard to make someone's day. And I'll apologize right now if this video is kind of shaky because I got this new doohickey to hold my phone and I think it's just too long because it flaps all over the place. So anyhow, um, it is really not that hard to make someone's day. You really don't have to go that far out of your way. As a matter of fact, you have to go about, gosh, I don't know, six feet out of your way. How big is the parking space? Um, that's about how far you have to go to make someone's day. And I know this for a fact because this happened to me yesterday um, and it literally made my day because yesterday was bananas from the moment my eyes popped open until good grief 8 30 last night or something it was just non-stop something after the other so last night after everything else that had happened had to stop at Walmart um, frankly to get wine because I was out but I also got milk because I'm a responsible adult so I pulled into the parking spot and I got the best parking spot at Walmart, which is pretty much my life goal. Like I have to always get the best spot. It's something I look forward to because I should probably get a hobby. So pulled into Walmart, got the very first up front closest to the door parking spot, was super excited. There were, because I know it's weird, but it's a thing. There was a car in front of me in like what would probably be the second or third best parking spot um, and there was some people in the car and some people outside the car chatting and it was kind of adorable to like when you run into people at the grocery store and sense of community is important to me so that already kind of made me smile and then I ran into the store super quick grabbed two things both of which were the things I needed and neither of which were impulse buys thank you very much and ran back out to the car and when I got to the car the car in front of me was gone well, that's bonus points because now I don't have to back up to get out of my parking space. I can just drive through. And sometimes it's nice to not have that extra hassle. I know it's not that big of a deal to back out of a parking space, but it's kind of fun to be able to just drive on through and go about your day. So I put the car in drive and I took my foot off the brake and I might've rolled up seven inches and there was a car pulling in who was coming to take that space in front of me. And I kind of went, Ugh because now I'm gonna have to stop and back up and I just have my heart set on rolling right out of the parking space. The guy that was pulling in had looked up and seen me move forward and he parked in the next spot. He took it for the team, team parking space. He didn't worry about it. He did not take the best parking spot available to him. He took the next one over so that I could have the convenience of driving right out. And it was so cool because how many of us would take a moment out of our days to like recognize what's going on around us and that little bitty thing that we could do for somebody else to make their day a little bit easier. And I rolled up and I rolled down my window and he saw me and he rolled down his and I said, holy cow, that was awesome. Thank you so much. And he kind of laughed and you know, we wished each other a good day and went about our lives. And that whole entire exchange took less than one minute and the difference that it made in his life was, you know, six feet or however wide a parking space is. But here I am today still smiling about it because somebody took just a little bit of time out of their life to make somebody else's life a little bit better. So that was my whole point. It's a feel good story for today. And it's something to think about. Those little opportunities are all over everywhere. You've got to have that gratitude going. I hope everyone has a fabulous sunny day. And, uh, and a fabulous weekend ahead. And we'll talk to you soon.